I want to show you a simpler light setup. Now, if you've watched my channel before, you will have seen me explain this light setup where I have a couple of flashes attached to this camera, and the flashes have some drivers on them, so that the further away the camera gets from her, the brighter those lights are. There's also an empty behind her with these other lights attached to it, and they have some drivers on them and some constraints, so that they're always behind her, so you get a good rim light and um, kick light. So now I want to show you a little bit of a simpler setup. That's what this setup looks like. What happens if I take away the flash, the flashes on the camera? So now these flashes on the camera are gone. This is what it looks like. Then what happens if I take away the lights from behind her, attached to that empty with all those weird drivers on them? Now the only light that is on her is from the world. And let's turn on a single sun lamp. Where is the sun lamp? It's under light setups. Here we go. Sun lamp. So now there's a single sun lamp pointing on her. Uh, it's supposed to be kind of bright as a stylistic choice, but um, we should probably dial that down a little bit for the purposes of this. Let's give it a power of, I don't know, four here. Maybe four is even too much. Two. So now, Look at this setup. You can see all the details and all the, um, there's a lot of beautiful colors on her skin and everything. So there is a trick to this. It's not just a sun lamp, although the sun lamp is largely it. Um, I have the sun lamp. There is a, um, there is a constraint on it that it always uh, points to her so that I can move the lamp around and then that will uh, give the various angles. So maybe I want to uh, pull it back behind her. Something like that. Then the sun lamp is now behind her and you can kind of get that dramatic look to it. Let's just kind of circle it around and see what it looks like in these various angles. So right, as I just mentioned, there is a trick to this. And the trick is, first of all, that you want to get a special build of Blender. What you want to do is get on Blender Artists and search for my name, Philo Vivero, P-H-I-L-O, V-I-V-E-R-O, and find uh, the SSGI thread. And um, you'll find there's a thread on there where um, 0514 has created some patches. And so I've compiled a couple Mac patches. And if you're on Windows, then there are other people who've compiled some patches for or, you know, patched and compiled some special blenders there. And what that does, the SSGI, gives you screen space global illumination. So what that means is that there's the color of her glove here. You, if you look carefully, you can kind of see it's reflecting onto the bottom of her chin here. It's making it yellow. Um, and then also, you might, uh, might be much harder to notice here, but the blue floor is going to be reflecting up onto the bottoms of her feet and uh, her legs. This desk here is going to be reflecting up onto her legs. So what you'll get is a really nice variation of colors from just this single lamp shining on the scene. You'll get lots of different um, effects uh, from the bounces of light going into the various places. So the other thing is, I do have world color to something here. So if I reduce that to nothing, this is what it looks like. And it actually makes the uh, SSGI effect much more clear. You can see this yellow on her chin, very uh, strong now here. And you'll probably uh, notice things like the pink glow on her skin from the other parts of her skin, or the kind of yellowish glow coming from the desk, etc. This is much more clear when there's no world lighting, but if it's too dark in the dark areas, you can bring the world lighting up a little bit and give it some color. So here it's actually a yellow color. If we made it, say, a blue color, it cools it off a bit. Uh, you could do all sorts of things. Maybe you want to have a greenish glow or whatever. I'm not a fan of that myself, but you know, I'm generally a fan of either a little bit warm or a little bit cool, depending on the look I'm going for here. That is one trick, and all the other tricks, I suppose once you're in, uh, once you have SSGI compiled, you're gonna see this screen space ray tracing section in your uh, EV render, and that's going to have a bunch of sliders for you. I have the sliders more or less at default. I've dialed up the intensity a little bit here. By default, the intensity is one. I've given it 1.5. All the other tricks are just regular old uh, EV tricks. So turning on ambient occlusion, dialing that up to whatever it needs to be, 
adding some bloom, adding, well, depth of field you don't actually see in this, but it is important to have some depth of field in there. And uh, that's pretty much it. So add your sun lamp, have the SSGI build of Blender going, add in some ambient occlusion, and this is what you will get. I'm really happy with this look. I'm really happy with the lighting. So uh, hopefully you like it too.